Hello, I'm Michael Reed of AuthenticAstrology.com. Starting on the 25th of August, I'm going to be hosting a webinar course on the Lajitadi Avastas. These conditional strengths of astrology show how planets are helped or hindered in finding fulfillment through the horoscope. If you'd like to know more about this course, you can do that at the link above. So when we're dealing with stressful situations and in the back of our mind, there's something that's nagging at us that really bothers us and makes us feel, well, unfulfilled. Well, when we're dealing with stress, we just kind of go, you know what, let's not go there right now. Things are just, you know, stressful enough already. So, so why bother? Well, when you do that for too long, something seemingly minor becomes something, yeah, that was an explosion, <laughs> okay? And yes, it can become that way because what happens? We take all of those uh, feelings, we suppress them, we put them to the side. Where on earth are they going to go? So wisdom seems to tell us that in one area of your life or another, you're needing to deal with some nagging little issue. Now, what area of your life might this be in? That's going to be different for each person, dependent upon where Mars is transiting in your horoscope. If you'd like more information on this, please schedule an astrological service at the services page linked above. Here are some other ideas in order to, you know, in order to cope with this, right? So should you take that energy that you're unhappy about and direct it at somebody else? Well, that's not really going to achieve anything other than, you know, perhaps, you know, let you get your anger out at the moment. But then what's going to happen then is you're going to be dealing with more anger coming back at you. And then it's, it's really not going to go into a productive place, right? So that's not the solution. Besides, if this uh, particular situation involves someone else, they likely have their own little nagging issues that they're having with this situation that may involve you, okay? So are you ready to approach those from their side as well? And I guess the real question is, can you approach it in a conducive environment in order to be able to deal with it? Well, directing your anger at somebody else in a situation like that is, you know, not really going to be productive in the situation. It's not going to solve the problem, okay? So then should you take that very same energy and turn it in on yourself and be frustrated and angry with yourself that you haven't like, you know, done something about it, or maybe it's all your problem and maybe you're just seeing this all wrong. No, that's not going to do anything either because you have needs that aren't being fulfilled. You deserve to at least be able to try to set your life up in a manner that's going to let you have that level of fulfillment. So why be angry at yourself? Here's what needs to happen, okay? So you don't need to take all of that energy and bottle it up, okay? But you don't need to deal with it when it's at such an explosive level either, okay? So what needs to happen is you need to let the tension of the moment subside. Let it calm down. Then pride to the side, honest communication to the forefront, right? Talk about what it is that's bothering you. Talk about what it is that's nagging at you. Likely you're going to find that the other person had absolutely no clue that that was what was going on. And you've both been dealing with projections from either side uh, that deal with two people who, you know, just perhaps can't get the problem out in the open because they've been repressing the situation because they felt it wasn't a good time to talk about it in the first place, right? So that's, you know, so really what needs to happen is to look at it clearly, to own your side of the situation, to not be afraid to say what you need, but equally to not be afraid 
to recognize that you may not be able to get it from the other person. You may have to fulfill that need yourself. That can be okay, right? That may mean something needs to go in a completely different direction. That can be okay too, can't it? The key to the moment is, is that if you ask for what you need, you stand a greater chance of receiving it. It doesn't mean you definitely will, but you stand a greater chance of it because otherwise the other person doesn't know, right? And if you take a look at what it is that you need from yourself, if this doesn't even involve anybody else, if you take a look at what it is that you need in order to set your life up to make it happier, well, that gives you a greater chance of receiving it too, doesn't it? And in addition to that, if you communicate with empathy to what the other person or communicate with empathy, I should say, to what the other person may be going through on their side, then you stand a greater chance of receiving the same level of respect. What generally happens in situations like these, if this involves another person, is we generally find ourselves in scenarios where one person is perceiving one set of circumstances and seeing the other person as being the fault. The other person's doing the same. And really what's going on beneath the surface is a lack of ability to show diplomacy in the conversation. Uh, pride can also uh, be very high in the next several weeks. And generally, quite often, it's a fear of asking for what you need. Now, all of these are in the equation because you have Mercury, Venus and Mars, all transiting in close proximity to the sun as they go through Purva Falguni Nakshatra. So you need to be aware of the need for diplomacy. If you're not feeling fulfilled, that's your responsibility. If you're not feeling fulfilled, then you can, at the very least, ask for what you need in order to be fulfilled. If you're not being fulfilled <laughs> and somebody else is not willing to give it to you, you have the choice to make some other actions to set things up in the direction that give you the greatest chance for fulfillment. You never know if you don't ask. And if you put your pride to the side and start stop uh, suppressing something that really needs to be said, right? If you stop suppressing, then it comes out in the open. But let things do so in a calmer manner right? Emotions are natural. Don't suppress them. Don't ignore them. Don't pretend they don't exist. But don't direct them at the other person. Recognize your emotions are yours. You have responsibility for them. And yes, it's good to voice them when you're feeling them, but from a calmer perspective. So if you are interested in da, 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 the upcoming uh, group session on Rahu and Ketu, where I will take a look at Rahu and Ketu in the charts of all the people who attend, then on the 19th of August for $49, starting at 7 p.m. London time, is the group session on Rahu and Ketu in the horoscope. Further information on that can be found at the link above. That's going to do it for this look at Mars's transit through Purva Falguni Nakshatra. From the 19th of August to the 10th of September 2019, until next time, please do take the very best care of yourself. Bye now.